The Aegis Global Orbital Defense Satellites, also known as GOD, were a powerful network of heavy satellites, placed around the Earth. After the Earth Minbari War, Earth Force was faced with the immediate need to replace huge arrays of orbital defenses around virtually every colony world and outpost in the Alliance. In addition to new models of the standard satellite, a program was designed to develop a much large device capable of mounting heavy weapons. The origin of the concept is very obvious, a weapon platform able to avoid another battle of the line. Although the previous model of platform, failed to stop the Minbari, anti-ship missiles, when in huge numbers, were effective. This feature was incorporated into the new model and improved. The original prototype employed a modified version of the Omega particle beam, but that weapon was not able to destroy a Charlin war cruiser with a single shot and was still in range of the Minbari main beam weapons. The breakthrough came after Earth Alliance acquired technology from the Draza Freehold and then further developed by Earth Force. That gave birth to a new extremely powerful particle beam weapon, the Aegis God Cannon. The concept is very classic, but the technologies employed are very advanced, mainly in the magnetic fields generators and in the control of the particle stream. The God Cannon is a complex weapon, a large linear particle accelerator fed by a battery of synchrotrons, accumulation rings. The heavy particles are accumulated and accelerated in the primary accumulation rings, until the buildup of a discharge is completed. Then the particles of all the accumulation rings are released in a collector and driven in the barrel of the weapon, that is a linear accelerator able to increase the speed and energy of the particles to relativistic levels and drive them against the target. The early models of GOD cannons had three large accumulation rings, but the progress in the synchronization of the primary feeders, the devices that drive the particle streams from the accumulation rings to the collector, enabled to build weapons with an elongated design. The accumulative working principle, allows a peak power that can be enormously higher than the average power used to feed the weapon, and is this capability to operate a buildup of the discharge, in addition to the long barrel of the second stage accelerator, is the technology that gives to the GOD cannons their impressive destructive power. This overkill capability has a simple consequence, there is no defense. None of the ship of the younger races can survive this power, and even many ancients could find nearly impossible to oppose an attack brought on with a god cannon. The weapon, on its regular fire mode, require a build-up time of 30 seconds for a discharge time of 1 second. The weapon can also fire in a different fire mode that allows for a more widespread effect. In this fire mode, the weapon require a build-up time of 10 minutes for a discharge time of 30 seconds. At a length of some 400 meters the satellite is powered by two fusion reactors directly coupled with the weapon system and three large solar panels. Aegis satellites are not manned but they do have a large docking port capable of supporting shuttles and freighters for resupply purposes. Satellites cannot move during combat, but have sufficient thrusters to change orbit when needed, or pivot in place to face their targets. The armament consisted of 1 Mark III Aegis Heavy Particle Beam Cannon 3 Medium Plasma Pulse Cannons 18 Large Fusion Missiles 2 missiles pods with a total of 96 fusion missiles. The satellite defense consisted of 3 to 5 meters of multi-layer carbonate 5 composite armored hull. Mark II interceptors. Mark II defense grid projectors. From the moment of its inception and even today, the Aegis orbital defense satellite has proven to be one of the best defense networks used by the young races. Please. If you like this video, remember to like, share and subscribe. I'll be posting videos regularly. Thank you for watching.